Today's horror manga dub and narration is Suichi's House Call Interview by Junji Ito. I hope you enjoy. During the summer holidays, my brother and I were sent to our family in the countryside for a week. While we were there, we often played badminton. That day, I was playing with my cousin Michina. She let out a tremendous serve. Whoa! That's high! It landed on the ground in front of an individual and he picked it up. Ah, I'm sorry sir. He looked at me with a strange glare and then said, Here you go. Thanks, may I ask who you are? Is Suichi here? Uh, Suichi? Yeah, I think he's here. Ah, uh, I'm Yanagida. I'm in charge of Suichi now. Oh, so you must be his teacher from school then. The teacher greeted my mom as I looked and called for Suichi. Oi, Suichi! Huh? He's not here. <laughs> He's probably hiding in the closet. I'm actually a bit worried when I looked at Suichi's school life. So, I thought I'd make use of the summer to talk to him properly. Stop it! Let go of me! If you don't mind, I want to bring him over to my place. And so, my mom agreed. If you keep resisting, Suichi, I'm going to drag you there. Come on! What's with this defiant attitude? It really makes me worried about your future. Suichi, did you do your homework? I was just talking to your mother right now. No way! Am I going to go to Yanagida's house? It's pointless to do the likes of talking to my teacher. Suichi, watch how you're speaking to your teacher. By all means, please. Take care of Suichi. No! Let go of me! And so, Suichi was placed into that car and drove off away with the teacher. My cousin and I both looked at one another and couldn't help but let out a smile. Finally, we'd have a break from that little brat. I'm home. We all greeted Cousin Yusuke. It had seemed he had just came home from studying at the library. He asked us why everybody was here, and I said, Suichi went to cultivate his mind. Huh? Sayori also went to the club camp? Without the two of them, it'd be a little lonely. Later that night, the group of us sat together at the dinner table and ate. So, Yusuke, are you going back to Tokyo tomorrow? It'll be so lonely here without you. I wanted to stay longer, but cram school's starting. It's the big exam next year after all. But Michina, you'll be staying for longer, right? She sat there and thought for a moment until her brother interjected. Michina, you would be a bother if you stay for too long. Why don't you return with me? Oh please, she's no bother at all. And Suichi isn't here, so, for a short time you can relax. We all nodded in agreement and smiled, but that was when... <laughs> no way! Suichi! You're already back? What did you do? Did you run away already? Ran away already? Don't say such silly things. That would sully my reputation. That good-for-nothing teacher made me do judo. In the end, unfortunately, Suichi came back that very day. The next day, we all said farewell to my cousin as he went to the train station. Well then, please take care of Michina. He bowed and we all said our final goodbyes as he made his way to the train station. See ya everyone, don't be a nuisance to our aunt. And away he was. After returning back to the house, 
we couldn't help but notice an extra pair of shoes. Hey, I told you to wait. Huh? It was Mr. Yanagita. Excuse me for coming in here uninvited. Uh, yesterday, Su Suichi. No, no. It was my fault to force him to do something he didn't want. If it's not a bother, I would like to take him again. But Mr. Yanagita, aren't you a busy man? No. Please, do not worry about it. Heh. <laughs> I know you're new, so you're very enthusiastic. But you have to stop forcing me to do things. Don't be so cheeky, Suichi. I'm worried about you. If you keep this up, you're going to become a horrible person. Though, you're already in sixth grade and you're constantly missing out on school. And even during classes, you interfere with everyone by talking to yourself. Not to mention, during recess, you shoot nails from your mouth. Didn't you hurt the class rep before? You're a bother to everyone. Is there something you dislike about school? Something that's troubling you? Try and tell me. We can discuss about it. Meanwhile, back outside... Hey, Michina, let's go. Those two started playing badminton. Listen up, Suichi. As I said yesterday, a sound mind resides in a healthy body. Let's go. Huh? Huh? What is this? Are you actually trying? Wow, Mr. Yanagita sure is hot-blooded. Michina agreed and said that she admired him. All right, Suichi, my boy. This time, you try and serve. Mr. Yanagita placed the birdie in his hand. Suichi looked at it in disappointment. Michina, watch this. He's going to miss again. Come at me. Suichi threw it up into the air. Whoa, it's so high. Uh, oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. Uh, oh! uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Serves you right. I caught you. I caught you. Hey, Suichi, you made a trap again. Apologize to your teacher. <laughs> the next day. The teacher came to visit. I'm going to change my plans. If you dislike exercise, then I'm not going to make you do any. Let's do something that you like today. What do you want to do? Play cards? Or maybe play shogi? What is it? Let's try to do something you like. Suichi looked at his teacher with a strange smile and said, I want to do some Kukuri reading. Huh? Kukuri? Kukuri. It's the one where you write all the Japanese syllabary in summoning spirits, right? That's right. But in my house, I don't need paper. Oh? So how does it work then? I can talk directly to that doll. Hmm. So, do you have any questions? Well, um, alright. I have one. Um, Kukuri, will Soichi become a healthy teenager? Oh, please. Don't ask such stupid questions. It's not stupid. Well then, I'll ask a different question. Uh, Kukuri. Is my future bride a beautiful woman? They stood there in silence for a moment, but then it replied, You will be forever alone. Uh, uh, hey, Suichi, you were the one talking, right? That was excellent ventriloquy. That wasn't ventriloquy. The Kukuri talked by itself. No, that isn't 
impossible. Several days later. Wow, I'm impressed. Even with the way Suichi behaves, that passionate teacher he's come every day. Every one of Suichi's family members couldn't believe it. They also couldn't believe how quiet it was in the house. Unusually quiet. But isn't it a bit strange? Hmm? What do you mean by that? Why strange? Well, the teacher seems to be a little worn out. Day by day. Hmm. Maybe he is looking a little worn out. Michina, let's go take a peek. Maybe he's sick. Huh? What's that sound? We peered around and looked into the room, and what we saw was Suichi glued to the teacher's back, as if he was riding him like an animal. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Suichi, let go of me. <laughs> what should we play next, teacher? Yes, Suichi. That's right. What do you want to play? We couldn't believe our eyes. What was going on? The teacher had completely changed. Oh, you two were here. Why don't you join us? Hey, hey, let go of me, Suichi. Later that night, the teacher finally departed. Well then, I'll be leaving. I will be coming again tomorrow. But as the teacher left, Michina quickly followed from behind. She called out to him, calling his name. Huh? Oh, uh, you are Michina, right? The two of them stopped at a nearby park and began to discuss that he was looking quite haggard. Wow. Now that you say it, I really am worn out. I wonder why. She explained that it was probably Suichi, that the kid had some sort of strange power, and that she thought that the teacher should keep his distance from him. But don't you think he's becoming more cheerful than before? I think it's due to my efforts. She tried to convince the teacher otherwise, Explaining that the boy hadn't changed at all, that he hasn't become more cheerful, it's just that the teacher has become attached to him and become worn out. The teacher sat there in silence for a moment, then uttered, I'm doing this because I am a teacher. To tell you the truth, I was an extremely withdrawn teenager. Others' misfortunes were my greatest joy. I hated everything. I hated everyone. I even hated myself. However, when I was in sixth grade, I changed. It was due to meeting a teacher. That teacher patiently persuaded me to talk. He made it so I could see the light. I don't think it was a coincidence that I'm in charge of Suichi. He reminds me of me in my younger years. I want to help him. I want to help Suichi. It's just as you said. He hasn't changed. What do you think I should do? She sat there and thought for a moment, and then explained a potential way to save him. She explained that if his heart is still unaffected, that he may be in love with a girl. A girl named Anju Yuriko. Anju Yuriko. Michina continued explaining that she was probably one of Suichi's classmates and that she had saw a letter wedged in his diary. Inside that letter was his feelings for her, all spelt out. Without thinking, she had laughed at it. Anju Yuriko, huh? I think I know her. She's a child from class three. The next day, the teacher brought with him a girl. This is Anju, Anju Yuriko. Michina was in awe. She didn't think that he would actually bring the girl. 
Suiji. For today, please try to converse with Anju about various topics. I brought her over for that. Well then, I'll be taking my leave. Huh? Sir? It's okay. Talk freely amongst yourselves. I'll be in the next room over. And then he slammed the door behind him. <laughs> Just what is that teacher thinking? Uh, um, my hair's in a mess. Suichi quickly turned around, ran his fingers through his hair, and straightened it. He turned back and looked towards her anxiously. She stared at him, stared into his eyes making him feel a little uneasy and jittery. He couldn't help but put his head down. So, do you have any activities that we can do together? They looked at each other in silence, and then she screamed. Fine, if you're not going to talk, I'm going. The only reason I came over was because I was told that you had something to say. I'm telling you this in advance. I came here as a request from our teacher. Don't misunderstand. If it weren't for that, I wouldn't go near the likes of you. And don't trouble the teacher so much. He looks so worn out because of you. I feel sorry for him. Mr. Yanagida is the man I adore. I'm not going to forgive you if you trouble him any further. Suichi put nails in his mouth and grimaced. Sir, is it really fine to leave those two by themselves? Oh, of course, it should be fine. But just like clockwork, that was when they heard a scream. What happened? Hey, uh, are you okay? He spat a nail at me. The nail pierced me, but I took it out. Suichi, where are you? Ah, you little brat. <laughs> Here I am. Come and get me. Get down from there. No. <laughs> <sighs> he escaped into the ceiling. Hey, I'll go. The teacher placed his knee on top of the cupboard using it as leverage to get inside the attic. Suichi! Suichi, where are you? Why don't you talk to me? Hmm? Huh? When he turned around, he saw two floating lights. Then, he realized it was Suichi. He had attached two candles to a headband around his head, using them to illuminate his face. Right next to Suichi was some sort of dummy, one resembling his teacher. No, th this is... It's a doll of you. I made it well, didn't I? W when did you make this? Sir, he will soon start to move. Very soon. What do you mean? Well, you see, teacher, your health and mind dwells in this doll. From that time, it has continued to suck your soul. Your life, that is. What's going on up there? It's been ages. Huh? Coming down from the attic was Suichi. Oh, it's you. What happened to Mr. Yanagida? Don't worry. He's coming down right now. See? Sir? Uh, sir? But something was off about that Mr. Yanagita. He had nails in his mouth, and something was just not right. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to give a special thanks to my Patreons, Sarah De Jesus, Moto Surf, Leo, and Dason Animus. I hope you enjoyed the video. And remember, 
You're important and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.